Hello and welcome. So today my wife and I uh, made a quick stop into a uh, local Walmart and um, came across uh, the latest Matchbox set, which I believe is Mix 6. I don't know what the official name of these mixes are, um, but uh, I was able to pick up uh, most of the cars that I was interested in. And um, so I figured we'd do a, a quick quick look at what I picked up and uh, and open these. and. Uh, take a closer look at some of them and uh the only one I couldn't get that I would would want out of this set is the uh white Alfa Romeo Giulia um and then this set is also the set that has the Corvette C8 uh what do they call it Super Chase which I've actually seen that car in a secondhand store and I personally don't really get uh, the appeal of it. Um, I mean, I'm sure I would grab it if I found one, but uh, it's to me, it's kind of ugly <laughs> to, to be realistic. But you know, I guess it's it's rare, so that makes it cooler. Um, but let's get started. Um, first up, we have uh, this Polaris slingshot. I almost passed on this one. Um, this is not something that uh, I'm super enthused with, but um, uh, get this out of the package. Wow, these are challenging packages. All right, that was way harder than I expected. Um, this is an interesting vehicle, three wheels, kind of motorcycle lock like in a lot of ways um i don't really know a whole lot about it i don't even think i've ever actually seen one on the road i believe they are street legal but i could be wrong um it's a very strange design um hmm. don't really know a lot to say about this one tombstone steering wheel it's kind of disappointing for such an open open vehicle and slingshot on the top and yeah um okay <laughs> interesting next up we have the mercedes amg gt 63s this one i think is an awesome model for a for a dollar car or at walmart they're 94 cents it's a less than a dollar car so this is a pretty looks to be a pretty cool um cool model with great wheel choice kind of a metallic uh gray um, you know almost black full detail on the front it's all painted although there's some texture in there um full detail on the back badges are a little bit large for the for the scale but you know this is a dollar model so you can't be too picky about it i mean for for what it is i mean this is these are i think matchbox just does a matchbox ugh, can't speak matchbox does a fantastic job and this one this one will go go to but go quite well with the uh, uh, wagon version that they recently released. What is this one? Mercedes-Benz CLA Shooting Brake 2020. This one does not have a year for the vehicle. Anyway, same wheels on each one. It's very cool. I think that's an awesome model for for a dollar or less. Next up is this. I believe this is a new casting, uh, 2020 Land Rover Defender 90. Um, I'm a little bit perplexed with this one 
because of the size, it seems really small to me. Um, I'll just get it out of the package and see, see how it looks. I mean, given that most of the time it seems Matchbox and Hot Wheels err on the side of being too large for a lot of things, and there was plenty of room in the packaging. In fact, the blister, you put it back, there's, you know, they have an indention in the blister here. Seems like they could have made this actually to scale, but I don't think it is. Um, it seems very small. It's very cool, but it's a little blobby on the front. It's kind of a disappointing casting in reality. So if we compare it to, let's see, let's let's compare it to the well the prior Matchbox. We can start with that one, the older version. This this one's too wide. It's way too wide, I think. Um, but I guess it is about the same length. It just seems so small. And the Hot Wheels. And I guess it's similar length. It's very narrow though. It seems narrow. I don't know. I mean, not that I, I think these are necessarily to scale, but this one should be. This is a Shuko, which is a bit more of a premium brand. And I believe that they do true 164 scale. So, the older version, I mean, maybe, maybe it's not as bad as I was thinking. It still, just seems, seems so tiny. Well, one last comparison. This is the Defender 110 of a more similar year. This is a... a almost real model uh this is they, these come in a blind box um and they're not a definitely not a one dollar model but uh as far as i know they're they are true to scale so yeah it's definitely seems a little bit narrow so this is a 110 so the 90 should be mostly the same vehicle just shorter and uh in similar years, I believe. I don't know exactly what year this one is. It doesn't say. But, <clears throat> yeah, this just seems small. It's a little bit disappointing. But, oh well. What are you going to do for 94 cents? Next up, we have the Mazda CX-5. Um, this is... This is a casting I, I collect because uh, this is the same vehicle that my wife drives. Uh, hers is red, not black, but this is the, the third version of this that they've put out. Black. Get nice full detail. Comparison. This is the last release. Gray. And then the first release in red, which is basically the vehicle that my wife drives. Very cool. And one other. We have Atomica, also in red. See a little difference in the the grill area that they're a little bit two different years this is a, the atomic is modeled off of a little bit newer version of the vehicle it has an opening opening part but yeah looks good in black Um, this 
one is the 92, no, 95 Nissan hard body pickup truck. I guess this is a, this casting has been around for a while. It's maybe the first version I've, I have. I don't know that I've ever gotten, gotten it before. The truck casting itself seems to be pretty nice. It's the plastic part that really lets it down. And there's no detail painted on it, front or rear, because you have the side, graphics on the side, trailer hitch. I don't know, I guess it's a pretty cool model. Would look a lot better with, with the headlights painted at least. Would take away some of the plastic -y, plasticiness of the the um, grill. Uh, next up, my uh, one of my favorite Matchbox castings, the Lamborghini Gallardo police car. Uh, this one I definitely collect. I'm trying to grab every one that I find. So this one is a in a Mattel Global Security livery which is, <laughs> I'm sure, a fully fictional invention, since I really doubt that Mattel has global security that drives drives the Lamborghini Gallardos. But you never know. Maybe uh, Hot Wheels and Matchbox are so hot that they can outfit their security force with one of these. This is one of the one of the silly matchbox models that I love. Very cool. Next up we have the Subaru SVX, which is a tribute to Ruas Rio. Uh, I'm gonna butcher his name. Ruas. Uh, I can't say it. Ruasada. Rio Asada. Rio Asada, who was the designer of this car, um, or of this this model not the car itself and uh he died i believe sometime last year so there's going to be several tributes coming out from matchbox and hot wheels he's designed vehicles for both this is a car i'm not really very familiar with as far as the real car goes and this is also the first version of this casting that i've ever gotten as a sada on the license plate tail light detail but that's it I mean a little tiny tiny bit of detail here <laughs> but they didn't do the front so just the sides and uh, it's interesting that it has a open window plastic top huh. interesting it's kind of cool some new edition. I don't have any of those. And I think the rest of these are all new castings. So this one is a 1953 Buick Skylark, which is brand new. Brand new to Matchbox. Another car that I'm not at all familiar with. My un my knowledge of cars from the 50s is minimal at best, but there are some very cool ones. And this one actually seems to be pretty interesting. I like the, the silver on the side, the trim wrapping around the wheel. That's very cool some pretty cool lines interior it's kind of sad they can't do a little bit better on the steering wheel that's just so blah but 
got to do what you can do. Keep the price down. So, cool. Next up is the 1932 Ford Coupe. This is another new casting. Another one that I almost passed on because I, I'm not really a huge fan of the hot rod style of vehicles. But I am glad I picked it up. When I was in the store, I didn't realize this was a new casting. I thought it was just a recolor of something that had been out before. So I'm glad to have an example of the casting. Even if I almost certainly will not be collecting this one. Of this type of vehicle, though, this one is is pretty cool. Could use with a little bit more, something more here. Because if you look at if you look at the package, it's got a got some you know grill detail here, which it seems like they could have printed that as it's basically solid black, which seems strange that. Did, since it's all printed anyways, why why not print the lines? Would have looked better, and would have pat, matched the packaging better. But I don't know. Maybe that requires two two passes on the tampos or something along those lines. So it increases the cost a little. I don't know. one next. This is the 2019 Mazda 3. Um, the Mazda 3, this, this current iteration of the Mazda 3 is a vehicle that um, keep keep waiting for it to grow on me. And it still really hasn't. Um, before my wife got her CX-5, she had an earlier iteration of the Mazda 3, which that was a very cool little, you know, for a relatively inexpensive hatchback. It was a, it was a very cool car. Um, but this new redesigned one, the way that they, they smooth this, this rear portion here, just never, never quite looks right to me. Um, it doesn't look too bad on this model, but on the real car, it's like the, the back end of it looks... Just looks weird. Doesn't look right. Um, but here you have full front and rear detail. And I assume that you know the the licensing for these vehicles now must must include something along those lines if they want to be want to put them out in a more realistic livery without a bunch of nonsense splattered over the sides of them, which is awesome. Or maybe this is just what Matchbox is focusing on. Either way, I'm all <laughs> I'm all for it. I mean, I love race liveries and I love police liveries and all those kind of things, but I like them to be real. I like them to be based on actual cars, not just fictional things. Even though I do collect things like this, you know, I collect this casting and almost all of the liveries that are on it are fictional. It's the ones that aren't fictional are the are the coolest ones of all because there are a few there's like an indonesian police livery on one of them that is um you know it may not be 100 percent accurate but it is a, still a very it's cool that it's based on something real all right last one this one's awesome this car the actual car is not available yet and i saw it was in the news yesterday i believe um that uh, this it was originally scheduled to ship next year, and now is not going to ship until 2023. This is the Tesla Roadster, the new Tesla Roadster, redesigned, and uh, this thing looks really cool. Both the real car and this model. matte red with these these 
these wheels. These are these are definitely becoming some of my favorite wheels. The same same as we had on this Mercedes. As far as Matchbox goes, these wheels seem to win on just about everything they put them on. But this car just I don't know. I like the lines. This is very cool. <clears throat> it's on the license plate. Zero emissions. Tesla badge. Tail lights. Headlights and a Tesla logo there. Again, for a dollar model. Can't really do a whole lot better than these. This one's fantastic. So very cool. All right, so thank you for watching. Have a good evening.